Hey, if you find using joint tape difficult, I'm gonna show you some alternatives and I'm gonna talk about each one and I'll show you which one is the best for novices and those who aren't pros. Okay, in today's video, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna talk about uh, about five or six different types of joint tape here, and I'm gonna show you which ones are easiest for novices and why, and then I'm gonna demonstrate it. And I've got a, a good variety here. I've got your basic standard paper tape. I've got the new kit on the block, kind of, Fibafuse, and the new kit on the block's cousin who just showed up, Fibafuse Max as well as standard mesh tape, wide mesh tape, which kind of goes together, and then the paper tape, of course. And I'm gonna show you this unique product here that you're gonna find out what I think about this, but we're gonna test this out one day. It's another peel and stick joint tape. And hey, if you like learning these kind of videos, be sure and click the subscribe button. I really appreciate it. I'm almost at 100,000 subscribers and I hope to hit it by my birthday in June of 21. Okay, so as you know, joint tape or paper joint tape has been used forever and it's a great product. Now, I'm gonna talk about the strengths of it and the weaknesses here in just a minute. But what we're really focusing on today is what's gonna be easiest for you guys as novices to use because honestly, a lot of you struggle with, with paper tape this picture here is one where a contractor actually tried to fix a customer of mine's ceiling. He left blisters everywhere and it just didn't come out too well. That's one of the most common reasons you guys fight with this. Well, I'm going to show you an easier product to use than this. And hey, in a future video, I'm going to go over each one of these in more detail. So if you want to know the strengths and weaknesses of each one, be sure to subscribe and watch for that video coming out. But for Today, I'm just going to focus on the easiest product for you guys to use and the next easiest, and we might go down two or three on this list, and I'll show you why. Okay, so first of all, the reason that a lot of you have problems with paper tape, I've showed this in another video, is you often put it on too dry, you let it sit too long and it dries out a little bit, or you put it on too thin, or you wipe it too thin. There's kind of a lot of variables, and if you get one of them wrong, you'll get a blister and it'll mess up on you. So there's a new product called Fibafuse. It's been out for a few years. And what this product is, is a fiberglass mesh tape, but it's not at all like what we normally think of for mesh tape, where you have this coarse weave product like this. And this is a self-stick mesh tape. So we normally just stick it on. You can see it's pretty coarse weave. Well, this is thinner and it's a really fine random woven so it's not just these squares and the theory behind this is that it's it's a strong tape pulling it this way if you try and tear it it's pretty strong but it's really thin and it lets the mud go through it and that's why it's going to make it easier on you guys so if you do happen to not put it on quite thick enough the mud when you're embedding it well, this, because the mud will go through it, it'll help you still bed it correctly. You do have to bed it. This one you stick on, this one is not a self-stick product, so you have to put the mud on, bed it, and then wipe it down. But it's more forgiving if you're not a pro. Now, the other problem with mesh tape, I see a lot of you use this because it seems like the easy product to use. I mean, what's easier than sticking it on, coating it? And honestly, I've put on probably 500 rolls of this stuff. And I'm talking 500 foot rolls, not the little bitty ones, because I've done nothing but repairs for over 17 years. And doing all those repairs, I've used a lot of this and I've had it work really well. So it is a great product if you use it right. Too many of you use it wrong and that's where this fails. And that's why I'm going to recommend this as my number one product. 
because this requires a setting mud, which is a fast setting joint compound. And that alone is a bit difficult for some of you. If you're comfortable with it, it's a great product. If you haven't used hot mud much, you might want to stick with this because you can bed this with regular all purpose joint compound. Okay, I'm thinning down some regular all purpose joint compound. This is the heavy weight, the normal weight. Lightweight doesn't have as much adhesive in it, so it's best to use this stuff here. And hey, if you're a regular follower of mine, let me know how this new microphone setup sounds. I, this is my like third wireless microphone setup. I've been having trouble with it. And hopefully this one is going to work out good. I'm really trying to up my sound quality for you guys. I've tried boom mics. I've tried all kinds of setups. And I think this one's the ticket. Let me know in the comments down below. So let me just demonstrate a few of these. First, I'll quickly demonstrate what you do to put on paper tape. Now, when you're doing taping, you want to use slightly thin down mud. So the old knife drip test. You can see it's kind of thin. That makes it easier to wipe it down. You don't have to push so hard and it tends to stick a little better. So all we do is we put on a bed of mud like so. And it's, uh, it's probably a good eighth inch thick. What you're shooting for, the manufacturer says 30 seconds of an inch when you're done. So you don't need a very thick coat. Now then you just put paper tape on here. And yes, guys, I know you think I'm doing it backwards. I'm gonna show you in another video why I've done it this way thousands of times and never had a problem with it. I got a whole test going on right here. We're gonna find out if it really does make a difference. But either side to the wall is the way I've always done it. Never had a problem. So anyway, that's all you do is you put that on there, you wipe it off. And so anyway, that's how we do the paper tape. Now, let's say we're doing mesh tape. For starters with mesh tape, you wanna have the fast setting joint compound. So we'll pretend that's what this is. In this case, you stick it to the wall and then you just put a coat of mud over it and that's basically going to bed it. Of course, you could do a little bit prettier and all. We're just doing a quick demo here. But now let's do the Fibrofuse. For that, it's a lot like the paper tape. You just put on some mud, about like so. Same basic concept as the paper tape. This time, I know it doesn't matter This uh, which side goes to the wall, so we're just gonna do it like that. And then, you wipe it down now. I'm gonna tell you a bunch of advantages about this product here in just a second. But you can see it goes on pretty quick and easy and it really works great. The mud goes through the product. So it's actually now embedded into the joint tape. Let's see if I can show that by any chance. It's a little harder to see through now because there's now mud inside of those fibers. So you wanna work it in there a little bit. That's another reason you need slightly thinner mud. And then it's bonded really well. So let's say you're not that great at it. And you do that common mistake of not putting it on quite thick enough somewhere. So there, it's really not quite thick enough. Now I think it's going to be more forgiving, but it's still not totally foolproof. But let's go ahead and try it anyway here. I'll go right through that dry spot. We'll wipe it. Then you want to usually follow up with a thin coat of mud over tape like this or paper tape. So now that we did that, now I'm going to wipe it back pretty tight just so we can get a better look at it. Now you can see in this close up here, the mud actually went through the tape and went ahead and bedded, even though you left a dry spot. That's the big advantage. That's what will help you guys. So let's talk about some other advantages of this tape. So the main advantages are that it's easiest for novices. Works well for pros too. A lot of pros love this stuff. It's super strong. It dries a little faster because of that open weave design so you can get back on it with a second coat sooner. 
Oh, another advantage to this is it's super light. I mean, this weighs like a quarter of a pound or something. It's like a feather compared to a big roll of paper tape. Kind of minor, but if you put this in a banjo, it will cut down the weight. And it's more resistant to blisters. Now, some of the disadvantages. Well, I found that I don't really like it for inside corners or inside angles. And the reason is, one is, let's compare this to paper tape. With paper tape, it's got a crease built into it and it makes it easy to give a nice 90 degree crease for inside corners. And that's why a lot of you think it has to go a certain way to the wall. But I'm gonna talk about that in that next video and see what you guys think about that. Okay, this stuff, it really doesn't have that. So if you try and crease it, it's just a lot harder. It doesn't hold a crease. And the other problem is when I go to put it in an angle, I have found that I can cut it like that much easier. See how easy that cut? Let's compare that to paper tape. If I run my knife down here, I can push all day and it's just much tougher in the angles and that's because of that sharp corner. So I don't recommend this on the inside angles, although you can. And if you use that two-sided corner tool for you novices, that will eliminate tear in that inside corner. Also, because this is fiberglass, sometimes you'll get some of these fibers in your skin and it can itch a little bit or irritate. So if you're sensitive to that, that could be a disadvantage. And finally, if you're sanding it and you sand into this, you're gonna raise a little bit of fiberglass fibers, but you shouldn't be sanding that far anyway. So hey, I hope that helped you out. And you see these other videos popping up right here on the side of this video. Check those out. Those might help you out too. And as always, I appreciate you guys stopping by, giving me a thumbs up and a comment. And I'll see you on the next video. Take care, everybody.